Okay, um, so um, what uh, we worked on and what our pitch is on is the, characteriser the characterization of a color of metallic alloys. Uh, okay, good. Uh, so uh, what we're going to start with is that the, um, alloys can change the color of uh, metals a lot. Uh, for instance, on the left, this is uh, all of these are gold alloys. So you can see it can go from yellow to gray, depending on what you put inside. Uh, and we wanted to find out, uh, to predict, sorry, the color uh, of the alloy depending on the characteristics of the pure metal. And so uh, what we chose uh, is the uh, reflectance, since, it's, since it is directly related to, um, to the color of the metal. Um, you can see in the middle, there is um, a lot of uh, reflectance uh, charts, uh, and they depend on wavelengths, and it's the percentage of light that is reflected of a certain wavelength. Uh, so, for instance, for uh, the gold, which is the red line at uh, 500 nanometers, uh, around 35% uh, of light is reflected. Uh, and so uh, we can find that reflectance using uh, over equations that are on the right with, for example, for example optical index or permittivity. Next slide. Uh, so uh, we came in with, uh, we found a first problem, which is that uh, we were given um, characteristics of the metals that were measured. And we also had uh, some that were given uh, from uh, the internet uh, that were computed and tabulated and we had a big gap between them but uh, after we thought a little and we thought that it may do, be due to micro roughness and uh, something that uh, we've been told is that we can simulate micro roughness by uh, mixing uh, the metal with air using uh, mixing laws that we'll see uh, further on and uh, we've we can, it worked a lot, it worked very well. Uh, you can see that uh, the black line is very close to the red one, which is the mixed with air and the measured uh, um, metals. <laughs> the, yes, this is all for pure metals. But now uh, Hugo Lassiette is going to talk about what we did with uh, alloys. Uh, okay, so this is a summary of our work. We start uh, in the left box. So we start with the tabulated uh, refractive indexes for each pure metal. Then we can uh, apply a mixing law with air to correct uh, the gap due to micro roughness. Then we apply the alloy mixing laws. So for the mixing laws, we, we used two linear formulas one on the indexes and one on the permittivities. And instead of applying the mixing law with air on the pure metal, we can apply it directly with the alloy. So after the, the, the alloy. So after, after those steps, we have a, an effective index for the alloy, which we can use to simulate the spectral reflectance. And then we want to compare our simulation with the, the reality. The, so we compute both the simulation and the measured spectral reflectance in color spaces in uh, CIE lab. So we can obtain the, the color difference between them. This is uh, an example of our results. So the black curve is the measured spectral reflectance of uh, three metal alloys. And the two others, the blue and the red ones, are the simulations we obtain. So we can see that they are, they are quite close, even if there is still a small gap at low wavelengths. And if we compute the color difference in CIE Lab 76, we obtain two, which is under the, the minimal value for which, uh, for which uh, the eye can see a color difference. So for now, we applied four mixing laws on two alloys. 
And as you saw on the previous slide, the results are quite promising, even if we can still improve them. And in the next weeks, we plan on simulating uh, more alloys with, and maybe with new mixing laws. Thank you all for your attention.